So I got to find out. So how did you find out Tim was swiping right on dating apps? Actually, he went to go pick up my daughter from her girlfriend's house. Okay. She's 14, and she walked up from, like, behind him and saw him swiping. So. Wow. How soon into the relationship did trust issues start? About six months. Six months. And yeah. how long have you been together? Almost five years. Now. Okay. So from the very beginning, the foundation felt rocky for you? Yeah. Wow. Which just okay. made it rough. And what happened to make you lose stress? Um, initially, I'd given him money to get a money order to pay rent, and he uh, gambled the money away. <laughs> but he did pay me back, so, you know, within mm -hmm. six months or so, but still dead wrong and not okay, and it screwed me up. So how did your relationship change after you found out he that he, Tim stole from you that time? Um, it just, I started to obviously not trust him, I question where he's going, check his phone, and he doesn't like, nobody likes those things, you know? Yeah. Um, but he did understand that it needed to happen. Did you also said he cheated on you, so tell me about the time he cheated on you, because I thought it was just your daughter seeing this, him swiping. No, 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 no. So okay. after that, he, um, so maybe, Two years into our relationship, three years into our relationship, he um, he cheated on me. He said she just gave a that it wasn't sex, but you know it doesn't matter either way. It's all yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong, okay, yeah, you know? I understand. I think he's just trying to belittle it, whether either or. Is so when you heard that he had received oral sex from this woman, what was your thoughts? I need to leave him. Uh huh. And why didn't you? I couldn't, honestly. Why couldn't you? Well, the whole situation, his best friend had died, and she was the female that actually, this female was with his best friend when he died, you know? Okay. So I felt bad because I knew he was in a spot, like, but I still, I sh maybe should have left. If he's cheated on me since then, I totally should have left him, and I messed up. But if he hasn't, and, and everything's been, you know, on the up and up since How then. How long after that cheating did your daughter see him swiping? So that just happened. Okay. So that just happened recently? Yeah. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. want to know why? Sure. So his reasoning was he likes to see how far he can, like, push the bots. So like, he's oh. telling you that the people on the dating app are bots. And yeah, he that he's only talked with, the bots. yeah. Okay. And do you believe that? I want to believe that he has not spoken with anybody except for bots when it comes to speaking. Okay. Do you still believe he could be cheating? I do think it's possible, that's for sure. Okay. And I just need to know. I have a question for you. What was your last relationship like before him? Not good. What happened? Was he abusive? Okay. How long were you with that person? 18 years. 18 years. Okay. I'm asking you that because I'm also trying to get a gauge on how you see yourself and right. what you deserve. Right. And I allow this to happen. I don't think you allow this to happen. I don't think you have the tools to know how to handle this properly. And sometimes when we, we don't have the tools, it seems like we're allowing it. You just don't have the tools. And maybe here, once we get some answers, you'll get the tools. I, I get that. To an extent, yeah. So my producers are telling me that something else happened three weeks ago with your wallet, that it went missing? It did. What happened? It's just gone. I. Like I, everything, money, everything, the whole ID? wallet. There's three hundred, two hundred ninety dollars in there, and it's gone. Yeah, it is, but I don't know. But hopefully, you guys asked him about that. So. Uh huh. Do you think that he could have stolen it? I, I do. Well, listen, you came here because not only are we unlocking the phone, and you also asked him to take a lie detector test to find out if he stole your missing wallet. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, you guys asked the right questions. <laughs> We do here. Okay. Well, I think it's time. I definitely think it's time that we hear Tim's side of the story. So let's meet him. Hi, Tim. How you doing? I'm good. Welcome What's to the show. Thank you. How do you feel about what you just heard? It breaks my heart. How do you feel about being accused of cheating and stealing her money? It gets old. 
I know I messed up. I've done both. I messed up um, the the first the gambling. That was an honest mistake. I had my money in one pocket, hers in another. I wasn't keeping track. Are you cheating or stealing now? No, I am not. Okay. No, I no. am not. You know, I can't. It's I, I just want to walk away and leave, but I can't because she makes me feel guilty, in a sense, because of that one time and. It's, it's a constant. It keeps coming up over and over and again. Why do you think you cheated early on in the relationship? I was being accused um, of things that weren't happening. And it, it's almost to the point where it's like you get accused of something and, and you're not doing That's anything. That's an excuse, though. It That's is an excuse. Sure. It, is, it, is, it, is. Yeah, it is an excuse. Um, but at the time, I was in a, in a bad spot, and we were fighting constantly. And I just, for some stupid reason, I I made the the worst mistake I could have ever done. And, and was that the only time you cheated? Yes, it was. Only time. Yeah. Okay. Do you still feel like Sierra won't forgive you for that mistake from the past? Yeah, because she lets me know about it all the time. If I know that it hasn't happened again, I will drop it. One hundred percent. I can't but wait you, for that. her daughter saw you swiping. What was that? Yeah, that I, yeah, I can stop that, and I haven't done it since that day. It's entertainment. I find it amusing because what people will do to get your money. It's not a. I'm not out there trying to to but get with these women. But you see how it looks. You know what I mean? It does not look good. It looks like you're yeah, looking no, for the it, next person. Yeah, no, it does not look good. So. I agree. I'm in the. I'm 100% in the wrong in that situation, and I shouldn't have done it. So you said the cheating. You haven't done it since that first no. um, two years ago when you cheated. In the first six months is when she said that you stole the rent money, or you gambled it. Have you stolen anything from Sierra since that rent money? No. Those years ago. No, I have not. Do you know what happened to her wallet? Because she. I have no idea. Okay, got it. Well, I think it's time to unlock the phone and get the truth out. <laughs> if you have been cheating. Sierra, you want to know if Tim is using any dating apps to meet women or gambling apps to gamble large amounts of money. Tim says he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his apps and found that he's telling the truth. You want to know if Tim was cheating or somewhere suspicious in November of 2022 while you were in the hospital for a few days. Tim said he was not. He was telling the truth. He was not anywhere suspicious, November or December of 2022. Sierra wants to know if Tim has been exchanging any inappropriate text messages with his girlfriends or former female co-workers. Tim said he was not. My unlocked the phone investigator searched his phone and found that he is telling the truth. He has not been in touch with any women. That's awesome. Uh-huh. I do find it suspicious, though, with these dating apps. Yeah. It's a it's... weird sense of humor. He thinks it's almost... Well, funny. no, I, I, I'm not going to say a weird sense of humor. The <laughs> apps were deleted, which doesn't give us access to the messages, so we couldn't fully see them. Right. So I'm going to be very transparent about that. Yeah. I do believe that there's more on that messaging than we could see. I don't believe it's bots, and I don't believe it's that. I think that in time, you'll get to a place to be honest with your woman. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, and um, we're all entitled to our opinions, you know? Yep, yep. <laughs> you are. You are. We yeah, all know, are. Yeah. But that's I got to tell you, I have a pretty good discernment about things. Um, it's one of my gifts. And I would be sure to say there's something else that is going on there. I don't, I've never met a man that goes on dating apps just to see if they can taunt bots. I me and my girlfriends have gone on and like looked okay. and kind of made jokes about people, but sure, we're sure, not, sure, like, sure. Talking well, let's get boss. to the lie detector test because this is also. <laughs> this was a big yeah. question as well. You yeah. want to know if he's stealing? Well, when it comes to your missing wallet, the truth is, Tim is not telling the truth. Oh! I didn't. I have no clue what happened to what. Really, I don't. If you didn't take it, what? Just the money. If I would take it, I would, I would ask you. 
you you must know some information about the wallet. Did you take the wallet? I did not take the wallet, and I don't know who took the wallet. And that's I'm being 100% honest. It's I did not. I want to believe him when he it. says that because. The unfortunate part is, is that, sister, no matter what I tell you right now, you are going to believe him. And that's just the real of it. And the thing is, is that even the whispering and the way you two communicate, yeah. um, this is a way that you all have used to make excuses for each other and to keep yourself trapped in an unhealthy relationship. Yeah. The reason that my composure has stayed this way the entire time is because I've been watching body language. I've also been watching the way that you use certain words, the things that you say to each other. I've been taking notes on this. He gaslights you. You allow it because you've been in a damaged relationship. The fact of the matter is, is that... He's not, he's not all bad and I'm all good, though. You know what I mean? It's no, one too... said, no one said that. What but see, like. what you just even there did is exhibited exactly yeah. what I just said. You started to make excuses for him when I've just clearly laid right. out no, the pattern of your relationship. Yeah, I hear that. And so the thing is, is that your question is, even in the beginning... I already knew that me saying to you, I didn't know what was going to be in the truth, but me telling you that he had something to do with your wallet being stolen, you have already told us from the beginning that uh, even if I find out that he's stolen from me, I'm not, it's not going to be as bad as if I find out he's cheated on me. Mm. And those were your words yeah, at the very were. beginning. And the thing of the matter is, is that you might have a gambling problem. You might have an issue with that. You might be working on that and be fighting that demon continuously. And that is something that I pray that you do get support from. Yeah. I do believe that you're in a place that you're not willing to be honest about where you are in that addiction with the woman you're in love with. The only question I have for you is if he stolen money from you once, potentially twice, what else are you willing to let him rob you of? Because he's the one gambling, but it's time for you to start betting on yourself. Sometimes when someone has lied to us, has made us feel bad, we then feel like, well, this is going to be the nature of our relationship, so maybe unconsciously this is what I'm going to do in my new relationship. I'm giving you my professional advice because yeah, no, I believe I'm, that if maybe I'm you two thinking. can hear it, maybe somewhere you driving down the car by yourself, you start to think to yourself, Maybe it's time for me not to do to her what was done to me. Yeah. And that is a big choice. And a choice that I hope that you make for her. And I hope that you make this choice for yourself to find some of that, that strength that you have that's still left in there. Yeah. Because there's a fight that's still left in there. For sure. There is. There is. And that woman is there and ready to live the life that she deserves to live. I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you.